day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. This is telling you is I die daily so that I can be under his name. Yeah. Now, would you want a big? I mean, could could you hand could could you handle a billion dollars? Would the billion dollars become your God? No. And, and you know, I mean, I'm just saying because yeah. if if you had a billion dollars, if 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 you're if you're a, a Christian and you had a billion dollars, you shouldn't have a billion dollars very long. You would. You would. And, and you know the thing. And, and that, that's my point. How could you be a, a, a billionaire for any length of time? You because yeah. you don't, there, no no billionaire needs that kind of money. No. You, you really don't. Not not just for yourself, not even for your kids. You I, so I think that. financially we were positioned in such a manner that we could send everybody home until the virus went away. Yeah. Then yeah. put them back on the job. And we At least your family. family. Well, I mean, this as a, as a nation, people could have been sent home, given food, shelter and time to heal and let this thing die out and we would not have a really experienced that much of a loss we we, we, we do that for 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 these countries that 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 we go to war with exactly and them billions of dollars they don't have to work they don't have to do anything i mean the money is is no object we just want their resources no. so we'll, we'll destroy their world as as it is known to them and then give them money to rebuild it and help them rebuild it. That's how you do it. So the way we resources. want it done. Yeah. To get to the resources that they have there. And as long as they fall under our authority, you know, we'll, we'll do it. Well, why can't they do that with their own nation? You know, our leaders are so caught up in and of themselves that they, they just, it's like, it's like the wealth of the United States is their personal money, you know, and that they only want to care for those that they want to care for. And that is the people with the money. So it's the, the way of this work. Yeah, and also go with drug dealing too, right? The yeah. drug dealers, because they, they sit there, they think somebody out in the corner. You know, they take, in other words, if let's say you got established a uh, place where you're selling drugs at, the other person will take it from you physically. Right? Oh yeah. And yeah. even with the even with the support of the police department. Right. Hey, because hey, if I break the cop off enough, he gonna guard me. Yeah. Right. Hey Chris, one of those people we seen on the uh, some of the uh, you know even on some of the video YouTube or something like that. Where a person had all kinds, you, you have folks where they had money, all kinds of. Well, where is that money coming? What kind of money is that? It's dope boy money. It's, it's dope money. And yet that person get, get shot. This that one kid got shot like thirty times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what'd you say, Elvin? You spouting that one? Cause well, I, I got a window shot nine. One uh, of my students got shot nine times. What? One of my students was shot nine times. He survived. I had another one was shot in the face. They died. I don't know how how many times those were shot, but they died. I had two students that were killed. I've had friends killed by cops. You um, said killed oh, by cops. Well, how cops, about kids killed by drug? How about kids killed by drug related issues? Drug related issues. I think the one where the young lady was shot in the face. They, two people died in that one. She was shot in the face, and the other guy was. I can't know where he was shot at, but they were both killed. That was, I think was drug related on that one. Right, but I'm just saying, Chris. Even in that, it's just balance. It's, 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 you know. It wasn't a white. It wasn't a white crime. It was black on black. It was black on black. It was all even about all that stems from from our government. I mean, they that's what they want. They they want black on black crime because it's it's all built into the system. Because if they didn't want it, then there will be jobs available. If they didn't want it. There will be care available. If they really didn't want it, there will be resources available to these people living in these these communities. But they don't have nothing available. They move everything away from them 
If they establish their own, then they tear it down. They make everything completely almost unattainable to, yes. to get success. And so it drives that community. It drives drugs. Yeah. It drives yeah. crime. Yeah. It drives that lifestyle. That's just self-preservation. That, right. that, that you, you can't blame these people out there selling drugs for selling drugs. I mean, you can, but that's just, that's blaming the symptom. Yeah. Yeah. To try, and I, I've been in the part of that for a minute. It's not an accident that that happened. And we call it, or they call it, the prison industrial system, and it's being fed every day. I mean, slavery has taken on a new, you know, I mean, configuration, but it's still the same slavery. Yeah, and I think even the, education, even the education system, I think, it's, it's the education system is built into it to to direct kids in another path to, to fail. Out. The system was designed for them to fail. It was it, designed it, for them yeah, to fail. Yeah. And when yeah. they fail, then they go into crime, then they go to jail. Yeah. But that yes, there's nothing showing showing how great we as a people are. There really isn't. You you go through all that schooling and you don't see anything. You what, who Martin King? He got beat up all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, he went to jail all the time. So what what is that? What is that saying? Yeah, he had a dream and then and, and all this, this and that and, and civil rights came. But they don't teach about the greatness of people of color. When you, you learn about and my sons learn about Africa right now. I haven't seen one picture, <laughs> one subject that shows those cities that we pulled up. Exactly. We don't. Not we don't. You know we what they see. talk about? They talk about con uh colonizing. Yeah. <laughs> The downfall of it. The primitive, talk about the, the greatness of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, because the Moors, right? It'll get right past me. We were talking about last week. We talked about the Moors. Chris, we brought up the Moors. Do you know who the Moors were, Chris? Yes, sir. You, you know, know, I know about that. Now. <laughs> I and, keep and up with stuff us, like that. A lot of us, it becomes we don't catch it. They don't. They don't yeah. make sure that's understood who these people were. Yeah, but at the same time, like I said, I didn't learn that in school. Woo, so I had to go, like I said, that's information you got to go dig up on your own. And you don't learn that until you're an adult. And you learn where to go find it. You know, and yeah, like, I, it's, it's pretty common. Ahead, I mean, for for, uh, for, uh, for victors to do that, I mean, they won the war. They conquered the nation. The, the problem right. with the United States of America is most people don't really know the beginnings of it. And that it was a conquered nation. It wasn't like they went in and made, you know, shook hands and took some beads and said, okay, this is ours, or we're going to give this to you. They were founded by people who have great avarice and greed. They were willing to do anything to the extreme to acquire the resources of the people that were indigenous. They committed genocide on them, displaced them, took their stuff. And now they're trying to maintain that. They yeah, brought they, were, a, yeah. they brought the black in as slaves, and they, and, they, and they want to keep them where they are. It, you know, it, it, you know, no. Elvin, 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 because what I remember was, Chris, I know Brother Anderson too. Elvin, I remember the Puritan or the Thanksgiving where they came together to to, to survive a winter and then give yeah. thanks. Oh, yeah. That's that, the picture, that picture that's stays with me. With the picture yeah. of the trials of tears, of, what do you call it? Tears of tears. Of tears. Friends of tears. That don't, I don't know. Did they even put that in the history book? Did they tell us that? No, they didn't teach me that. All they taught me was uh, Plymouth Rock, uh, <laughs> the, Indian, the, the Indians on Thanksgiving. It was and, by y'all, right? And yeah, it was all good. It was Pocahontas. Know. Pocahontas. Oh, Pocahontas. Oh, yeah. You know, Ooh. Yes, you know. Hey, hey, but hey, hey, Chris, did you know this, though? This one I didn't catch before. Mm -hmm. The Buffalo Soldier. Oh, I, I was at station at Fort Huachuca. Ah, yes, yes. Hey, hey Chris, but did, yes. you, did you catch this piece though? Mm -hmm. Why were they out west? Oh yeah, they caught the call the hey, white folks don't want to own black men over here in in, in the real America. They you see own, what I'm saying, America. Yeah, yes, you see what I'm saying, brother Addison. Yeah, because they were had all... a well organized, <laughs> got even made a reputation for themselves yes, of being sir. good. But we're gonna move mm -hmm. them away from the south. 
Yes. We don't want them to help out with reconstruction. Well, they don't want the people, the average people of color, to see them. Exactly, because now you got a you got a positive black image. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Do you mean Snoop Dogg is not a positive black image? <laughs> well, now fact, he is, cause he old and sipping on Corona in the sunlight. And my fact, <laughs> I don't know, ain't a positive because, image. My fact, I don't well, know. True, 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 true. I don't know. They even talked about. Did they talk about Buffalo soldiers in the in the school? No, like I said, you only learn that after hey, after you become part of the system. They'll they'll reveal that to you. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't talk about that. I didn't learn about them in school. Like I said, you ain't learn about the Tuskegee Airmen till you got in the Air Force. That's true. Yeah. yeah. You you know, the only thing that. you knew was you you knew about the Tuskegee Institute, and you and you most definitely didn't learn about the Tuskegee experiments. No. Yeah. No. 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 See, it's, hey, it's hey, like hey, I said. Go ahead, if bro. they can rewrite your history, then you don't know your future. Exactly. But exactly. One thing I, I'm, I'm asking us to do is to accept our our heritage. We are Americans, and to begin to use the resources of this nation to glorify the God that has called us to this position. I, I pray that we really do stop grass grabbing for straws because we really are. We don't know where we came from over there on the continent. We really don't. We don't know our culture on the continent. We keep reaching out for stuff that we don't have. But we do know most of us here, at least second or third generation. And at that point, don't you become indigenous? I mean, in this soon where you get grandfathered in as a, as a, as a citizen, as a, as a native? No, we might get beaten in because that's what's happening now. We get beaten in. We, like, we getting jumped in. Right. And so I, and I say because and we of that, jumped into the United States yep. for, for for centuries. We've been jumping in. <laughs> exactly, getting jumped in. You know, I'm, tired, I'm tired of getting beat up. That's it, but, but where do we go from here, though? Really, it, 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 denouncing it and, and denying it doesn't change it. You know, I think there there is a unity that we can find in Christ, and I think we do find that unity. Well, we saw that in history. Because we united with our white brothers, even when we began to read. The Quakers were the ones who said, you can't enslave a brother. Yeah, I know they couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. And so they, they, we have to embrace what Christ is. He said he looked and he saw a, 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 a people of a, innumerable people of many tongues and nations, people's tongues and nations. It, it said they were all in, 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 included in this great assembly. Right. It wasn't just blacks or whites or even only Israelites. It, it, I mean, it, uh, Hebrews. They were all everybody. Everybody that wanted to be a part, everybody that put the right clothes on could come to the wedding. And if we embrace that, I think we can begin to draw support from our white brothers, even with this not white lives matter thing, but that Christ gave for his life for oh, all the world. Yeah. And that, that unifying effect. Now, the ones who don't line up with Christ are going to become obvious, and he's going to start QAing his own program. But at some point, we have to put forth his agenda in order for him to have the leeway when he moves to be understood. Yeah. I don't I don't have a problem with our... With my mother and brother and sisters are those who do the will of my father. Come on, mm-hmm. Come on now. That's a good word, Elder. To the yeah. world, you know. Does black lives matter? Yeah. Black yeah. Lives Matter as much as those children at Columbine. Exactly. When those two white guys went in there and blew, blew them away. Yeah. That bothered me. And it, it should bother anybody that's in the household of God, I think. Yeah, and yeah. I think in the household but check of God. this out. If all lives matter, how come those don't? How come them kids' lives don't matter? Right. They do. You know, because if it mattered, they would have been changed in these laws for these gun laws if all lives matter. But, but because because I think that they're deceived by the devil. Some people have been in bed with the devil so long that you think that he's a lover. But that, Satan can't love them. I mean, because you think that you gain benefit from your interaction with them, the end that the game is that you only aren't destroyed physically, but you are destroyed spiritually as well. Right. So there are a lot of eyes that need to be opened. These good people are blind, man. Right? Right. With that, doing God in this world has blinded the eyes, right? Yes, true. Yeah. And, and, and see, we can't come under authority of white. We can't come under authority of black. We can't come under authority. God wasn't coming under authority of his authority. And, and since we, we just put that in mind, we need to be able to wrap it up a little bit. Is this, at Bro- Brother Addison, read this uh, last three scriptures for me. 
not three scriptures, but three slides for me. Uh, to show you that it's about the authority. So when you read it, it's, anytime the name come up, just remember, that's me an authority, okay? Okay. And I think- Before you-